Sorry, I, I don't, something's, ha my camera's telling me that I'm running out of tape, which is really bizarre. Maybe I didn't start the tape at the beginning. That would be very typical of me. <laughs> anyway, I was saying what I should do. Am I recording? <laughs> I'm really spaz. I need a production team. Come on. Anyway, what I should do is um, you, you should be able to come to my website and uh, click on a link to that article that I was talking about in the New York Times. So let's do that. What website? Oh, um, well, okay. Well, I, I, I don't actually have a Mamarama website. Isn't that lame? But I do have, um, if you go to um, blog blogspot, uh, it's Mamarama TV, if you want to find me that way. And so maybe I'll, I can put up a link there. Or some, I'll, I'll figure it out. I, of course, I'm sure I can. Anyway, so um, let's wrap it up. Let me think what the wrap up's going to be. <laughs> well, I'm at a loss for words. I don't, I, I just, I can't even believe it's the end of the show and I'm kind of like out of um, material. How did I do that? I, I, because I said my show wasn't scripted. I told someone that I write my shows and he laughed at me. It's like, you write those shows? <laughs> How could that possibly be? Uh, yeah, so I don't know, you know, I'm running out of tape. Things are getting a little kooky. It's, and, and the blog thing, I think it, it's, I think Blogspot takes you to blogger.com. I, I guess they're like connected to, or just go straight to blogger.com, Mamarama TV. Yeah, you putting myself out there, but um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's an experiment. Let's just say that. Anyway, um, so w uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just talk about a couple local things, okay? So my YouTube audience can tune out now. Uh, local things, Jersey City, what's going on here? There's so much. Listen, you know, uh, the, you can join the JC Family Group and the JC Schools, which is really important if you're, um, if you're uh, looking for um, uh, schools in Jersey City. If you have a child that's school age, um, we know what a big mess it is. The more concerned parents that get involved, <clears throat> the better it is for everybody. So. Um, just write to me if you need those links uh, or, you know, I'll hook you up with the, the Yahoo groups. I uh, want to give a shout out and plug to my favorite consignment store in Jersey City. There might only well be one consignment store for children's items. That is Duck Duck Goose right on Erie Street uh, just by Newark. Please go in there and um, check it out. They have so many great baby things. Um, well, baby and, uh, and kid things. I mean, toddler up to... Yeah, you'd be surprised what you find there. In fact, I have a really nice diaper bag that I got there that was so nice that I actually bought it for myself just to wear, you know. I'm, my kids are long past the needing to tote around diaper phase, but um, <laughs> you never know. Um, no, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a, a great bag. So sometimes I shop there for myself, but... Um, yeah, but you can get some really great things there at an um, excellent discount. That's Duck Duck Goose. Tell them I sent you. And uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, I am I'm really on a mission to fight with the um, the PATH train about um, they, they seriously need to have a public awareness campaign in reference to um, to pregnant women. I'm, I'm really, I'm at my wits end with like the way, the way things work on the path train. Any pregnant woman listening will know that it is like impossible to get a seat. And, uh, and there, there's absolutely like no protocol or awareness or whatever. There, there are no announcements. There's like a little sticker that says, please give this seat up to the elderly or disabled. But people don't look at pregnant women and think they're disabled. They just apparently don't think anything. Um, and, you know, I mean, just people don't, I mean, part of it's a cultural thing and that, and that, you know, it, it has to do with, okay, it's culture, it's manners, it's consideration for women, for, you know, there's like in certain countries, there's like a real reverence for a pregnant woman. We don't really see that so much here, uh, certainly not in the Northeast. I mean, it may even be more common in like in the South or other parts of our country, but particularly in the Northeast, there just seems to be a complete disregard, um, you know, bordering on a sort of like 
you know, hostile anti-feminist standpoint or something. It's like, wow, ah, are you going to work and you're going to be pregnant? You'll stand like the rest of us. I don't know. It just, it seems so horrible. And, um, yeah, I'm on a campaign to fight this. So I will, I'll keep you posted on that. Now that I've put it out there, I, I'm really, I have to actually move on it. So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know because I'd really like to mobilize. I feel like we need to, we need to storm, you know, Bastille or something. Allons enfants de la patrie. <laughs> Should I just do my whole show in French? All right, now I'm getting really giddy and silly. I gotta go. Um, yeah, the show's cut a little bit short, but, um, you know, I, I got, I've got things to do. Um, 